and the winch is used for the casualty vehicle. Just hook on to the tow eye. Two ramps. Two chocks. Depending on what vehicle we fit on there, different size wheels, blue straps are for the big wheels, orange straps are for small wheels. I think that's about it. The only thing that I didn't show on the video, there's two pins there, they need to just be popped into there to lock the arms when they're in use with the vehicle on there. So I'll just put it all back in the van, show you how it packs away. Oh, this, this is an emergency use if the motor were to fail with the arms when they come out this lets you manually wind them back in The trailer's got steering, it's got cast the camber angle steering, so when you go around the corner the casualty vehicle follows the vehicle. I have also I've got the track that mounts onto the bottom of here which then lowers it straight to the tow ball. I never mounted this and used it. This folds up into the van like this when it's packed away. This then has to plug on there. This powers the internal motor up to the shaft inside, which then winds the arms in.
just the stowage strap, two clips, and that's it, packed away. The controller just plugs onto there. You can also get a wireless version if you didn't want wires on there, that which will plug into this plug as an optional extra. This is the emergency stop switch. And that's it.